Well, so we finally tried our new Nespresso machine today and it's just different. I, I think I like it better, but I will say this, my parents came over and they, my dad tried the Nespresso coffee too. And he was like, it's really strong. I'm like, yeah, it definitely does taste stronger than like a Keurig coffee. It just does. And it just tastes different. But my thing was, I was drinking it on an empty stomach, which I do all the time, as good or bad as that may be, I don't know, but I, I do all the time. Like typically my first cup of coffee is alone, then I'll eat something and maybe have another cup. Well, this made me feel so nauseous. It made my dad feel nauseous too. And we were like, whoa, we gotta eat something. And so I'm like, what is it about it? Is it really that much stronger? I don't know that the caffeine, they have different like caffeine levels. And the one we made was just like the medium caffeine level. So I don't know, it was just weird. So I think it's gonna be a period of me getting used to it to see if I personally like it. I, It's just different. So my husband liked it, but he said it doesn't taste as strong. I'm like, what? So <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna find our way. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. So I'm literally, I've got a cup right here, but it's honestly kind of cold at this point. But now the pods are more expensive and so I'm like, okay, now I need to like actually make sure I'm drinking it all. And like, I don't want to waste any of it because it's, it's like a dollar a pod. Whereas Keurig, that's breaking down depending on where you can, where you get it. You can get those for like 30 cents a pod or 50 cents, you know, but anyway, we'll see. I don't think this will ever be our sole source of coffee because it's expensive, uh, plus, we typically make a pot of coffee in the morning anyway. And so this would be more of like in the afternoon, maybe making a nice cup or something and really enjoying it and not like as our like workhorse coffee. <laughs> I know some of you guys totally are like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Like there's a workhorse coffee, the one you drink the most of, and then you have like special coffees. This is going to be our special coffee. Okay. Just got back from a run. I did three and a half miles and it felt really, really good because it was a little cooler. Hi, Hello. You waiting for me? Mm, handsome boy. Aww. Are you still afternoon snows we? So sweepy boy. Mm. What's going on in here? She just woke up from a nap. Oh my. So it is party time. Party time. No. No. It's not party time. No party time. No party time. Do you want to be alone in your room? Well, good morning. Uh, we're messing with, I feel like I'm insane this morning. So I have been sitting with my cuffy. I want to say me cafe and I'm not even sure that that's right. Anyway, um, and I'm making a list for what we need. I'm going to Trader Joe's today. Y'all, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while and I am so excited because I've been like addicted to watching Trader Joe's fall like grocery haul videos. Ooh, I, my freckles are like here to stay today. Look at them. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I was, I, my favorite videos to watch. I love watching Kendra's. I'll link her channel and she, I want to say, yeah, I just recently watched a haul of hers grocery haul. And then um, Amy Lynn's here on YouTube. She does them a lot. And I just rewatched two of them because they were, I was like, I remember she mentioned like 10 things I wanted. So I literally was watching it and adding to my little list. So I have a lot to get. I feel like the Trader Joe's cart is not that big. And I'm like, am I going to be able to fit all this? Because I don't always go to Trader Joe's for like all of my groceries. I feel like it's like, I'll get a lot of my groceries elsewhere and then go there for like specialty items. But I'm just going to try to do like legitimate grocery shop in there because we legitimately need everything. We are out of milk, eggs, bread, fruit, pro like all produce. We are just out of everything. So I'm excited to go. I figure I'll probably film it. So by the time you're seeing this, that video would be up. Yeah. So anyway, that's all. I'm just excited. And also they have so many like pumpkin-y fall food items and cute like pumpkins and stuff. And I'm like, so I just filmed a Trader Joe's haul and it, I got so many good things, so many things I'd never tried that I tasted. And I was like, I literally snapped some of our best friends and my brother and sister-in-law too. And I was like, you need to try this combo thing. Like there's just so many good things I discovered. So if you're into that, if you're interested in that, I will have Tyler link it because it will already be up. Yeah, I mentioned this early in this vlog. Listen guys, the videos are all running together. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do Vlogmas in December. We're gonna lose our actual minds. <laughs> Are you trying to walk in mommy's big shoes? Be careful. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh my. You got pretty far. You started over here. Put him back on. But be careful. So I got out our Halloween mugs or our fall mugs. This is the one that was from my merch last year. And then this is the one you might have seen I got from Disney. It's their V for villains like mug. And then we have a lot of Disney ones. We've got this one we got in Disney World a year or two ago. Two ago. It's like a little cauldron. I think it is so cute. And then this one is a personal fave. It's a Haunted Mansion one. And I absolutely love it. And I like that it's a little bit smaller too. A lot of these are just really big. And then this one, I think Tyler got me, he went on a like travel agent trip to Disney alone. Like there were meetings and stuff. And he brought me this one back because it was during the fall season. I think this is maybe top two. I can't even pick this one. Look how cute, just a little kitty cat and a pumpkin. And then this one, I want to say I got, I don't even remember where. It was a long, long time ago, but it's humongous. So I don't use it a lot when we have it out. It, it would almost be great for soup, but, and then this one, I think we got maybe last year or the year before, um, at their, like during the Halloween time, it's got a lid somewhere, but yeah, we needed to hand wash them all because they were just in our basement waiting to be used, but I'm so excited that they're out. Well, good afternoon, good evening, good midnight, good, whatever time it is where you are, uh, tonight. Oh, and welcome to the cutting board, obviously. Uh, tonight I am making one of my all time favorite comfort foods. Cause if you look outside right now, it's just windy and cold and dreary and just not a, not a very happy day outside. Although I love the fall weather. So it's totally cool, but it's a good excuse to do some warm comfort food. And this is one of my all time favorite dishes. It's vodka sauce and pasta. It's super simple. It's one of the easiest sauces that I that I make but it takes like two hours. So it's time consuming in the fact that it has to be in the oven for 90 minutes, but it really is a very quick recipe to make and it is so, so good. Just make sure you're planning enough, you know, in advance that you're gonna do it. It's olive oil, onion, garlic, a few dried herbs, so they're not even fresh herbs, it's very easy. Uh, vodka, of course, and then tomato. Um, and so I will put this recipe up on my website if you're looking for some warm comfort food as the weather gets colder, uh, this is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Um, and I guess, um, cause it does take so long, I'll set it to a jaunty montage. Ready? Here we go.
one of my favorite sauces. I know I just said that, but it's true. It's, it's so good. It's super duper hot. So. I'm not even big on red sauce, and this is like the only red sauce I well, like. And it crave. has heavy whipping cream in it that you put in at the end. It kind of softens the whole thing, so it's not just like a, a red marinara sauce. Yeah. It's so hot. <laughs> oh, don't burn your mouth. So good. I said it's such a comfort food to me. Mm -hmm. It is so, so good. Well, you made plenty. We're going to have leftovers for a week. <laughs> made it on purpose. I doubled the recipe. The recipe I'm going to put on our on the website is half of what I made tonight. So it's <laughs> awesome. So we are at Costco right now, and we always get these. These are amazing. Like for it's like Pedialyte, but different and geared towards adults, and it's incredible. We even travel with this, so like in the mornings we'll drink it if we haven't drank as much water as normal, if we know we're or if we drink all day and just like, like in the sun or whatever. Um, but then they also sell these energy multipliers, and I'm like, you know, sometimes in the afternoon. The coffee's just not hitting the way I need it to, and this might be nice to have. So I'm excited to try this. We're about to get our flu shots. So we are waiting to get our flu shots. Tyler is being so brave. So but brave. we always get them at Costco. It's like 20 bucks. So yeah, that's brave. what we're doing. So brave. This is actually the earliest we've gotten them, though. Yeah, I feel like Usually we like wait another month or two. Yeah. One month or one year, we had just messed around about it and got them in, like, freaking February. January. It was so yeah. late, but it was still worth getting yeah, at that point, our doctor said. Anyway. So yeah, we're just kind of messing around until they call our name at the pharmacy. It may not be winter yet, but do I care? No. Winter is coming. It is, and look at this. Organic winter blend. Also the bag is cute. Good job, Starbucks. Also, more importantly, guys. Halloween time. Reese pumpkins, let's go. Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're here uh, out for a nice walk. It is autumn officially, like as of today, like it October is officially, is the well, October. yes, but I'm just saying like weather-wise, yeah. it's such a fall, fall day. <laughs> it really, it's not too, too cold, but it's those breezes coming out. Ooh, that's a little bit brisk. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it, you can hear the dryness in the leaves and the things as they sway. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Good stuff. What imagery, what imagery. Since it is October 1st, that means it is the beginning of a quarter, and I have a reminder on my phone every at the beginning of every quarter, a list of things that I try and get done, like house maintenance kind of things, um, to keep myself up to date on all my different stuff. So one thing that I do is fill my uh, water softener with salt and clean and or replace our air filters. Ours are the kind that you can just actually rinse and put back in. Um, but of course, if you have one where you have to actually replace it, then you would replace it as well. Um, but things like that, switching out like the baking powder or the baking soda in the uh, refrigerator, all that kind of stuff I have on a list that I try and do at the beginning of every quarter so it doesn't get away from me. And I just get an alert on my phone, like do the quarterly tasks. And then I have a list of things because I feel like especially at first when we were first homeowners, even at the apartment, we had to switch out our air filters and stuff like that. There was a lot of stuff that would just kind of get away from me. So adulting 101, just set a reminder on your phone that goes off like January 1st and then each quarter, um, each every three months, have it go off and then anything you need to get done that you don't really want to do or you don't really think about. The other things I do, I like, I switch out my toothbrush, I switch out my loofah in the shower, all that kind of stuff um, that just normally would get away from you. Like, wait, when was the last time I switched out my toothbrush? So now every, at the beginning of every quarter, I do it and I do it on that day or the next day, like right in there. So I don't forget. Um, but that's some adulting 101 that is, I feel like has kept me on track for a lot of the random things that I always forget to do. And so I'm going to put my filters back in now. This has been your minute of dad advice. Now go wash up for dinner. So I found this on Amazon because we had a holder like this or what well, we still do for our Keurig that's going to be in Tyler's office. But it wasn't clear on top. And a lot of the ones on Amazon for, like, specifically for the Nespresso Virtual Line things look like this with the clear glass top. And it's so pretty because the reality is the little pods are pretty. So I was pretty pumped about that. Like, I can't stop coming in here and looking at it like a weirdo. So I know I've talked a lot about coffee in this vlog. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet because Gigi's still sleeping. It's, it's morning. Anyway, uh, so I was just opening this for the first time, this coffee. And we were making it in the Keurig we have up here. So it was our Keurig we had downstairs. We moved up to Tyler's office. And um, I opened it and they were all in this like sealed bag. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh no, that's not going to be like compatible with the Keurig. I put it in and sure enough, it worked. And then I thought, what? why is not everyone doing it like this? Then there's not that extra plastic waste around the bottom portion. That's all. I just thought that was super interesting and really cool. So we had tacos tonight. And actually, I made the sesame taco meat 
but I made it with ground turkey and it was really good. I did add a lot more sesame oil and sugar to it though. If you want the well, recipe, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong. So we can put the recipe. There's a PDF version we have on Tyler's site. I'll have Tyler put it below. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, we binged like, so I'll Tyler put it below. Wait, oh no, that's dark. No, that's, wait. Put it below. That's, yeah, no, that's no, 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 that's it's too good. It's cold. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, totally. I, um, we watched, well, weirdly, speaking of that, we were watching the show Dead to Me from Netflix, and we're, well, now we're like halfway through season two. Yeah. We started the first episode of season two today, and we watched like four or five episodes, because it was just, you couldn't turn it off. And then we had our Reese pumpkins, and that was maybe the greatest part of my day. Yeah, it was very good. Eating Reese pumpkins and watching a good show, I was like, yeah, this is, it doesn't get any better than that. It's true. You look really strong. Well, thank you. I have been working out. I don't know if I mentioned it. <laughs> <Just> Millions. <laughs>